Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethem. Hope you guys are having a good day because today we're going to be looking at how to build on the surface. So on the previous video, we had a look how not to build on the surface and what happens if you do. So for those that watched that video, obviously Bob and James had a very tough time on the surface and they lost their bases because they built in the wrong place. Now in this video, I'm gonna be covering where to build and how to suss out the area that you can build in. So if you folks find yourself enjoying this video and find the information in this video useful, please don't forget to support me by hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and why not check out some of my other videos? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Alrighty, all that out the way, here are my coordinates and my location on the map so this is where i am going to be building obviously this does bring me into the radioactive area of the arc aberration map so to get into the aberration i'll need to have hazard suit and all that good stuff however this is a spot i can build a base or i'm going to build a base and if you're going to do that you're probably going to do it because you want to farm the loot and you can get some pretty darn good stuff here on the surface out of the beacon drops. And for those interested in farming beacon drops on the surface, I do have a guide on how to do that safely. And I will put an annotation card right around now. So I'm going to crack on with setting up the stuff for the next test. And I'll see you folks in a bit. All right. I have set up the platforms on which we will be building a base at some point in a future video as this will focus on how to suss out the area that you can build upon so i am using thatch foundations to place down and this will help us find out the area and the reach that we can build our base on so why am i using thatch foundations well that is quite simple it is very easy to get it is inexpensive to build and they do destroy quite easily so we don't lose a lot of resources you don't want to be doing this with expensive resources such as stone or metal so for the purposes of this test i will be spreading out my foundations on a fairly wide area just to show you folks what the reach of what we could build would be i'm also going to be putting thatch foundations on the lower platforms that I have set up and I would think that if there is a section at the surface that does not destroy the uh, foundations that we could also build easily and quietly on the lower portions of the cave however I don't know so that is why I am testing hopefully that is the case and by putting down these thatch foundations we will find out okay so this is somewhat lower down the cave and this is how many platforms i could put around i think this would be a safe area and i just wanted to cut back in and show you folks because you could build a pretty decent sized base here so let's go up and show you all the other platforms that i've placed Let's have a look, see over here. So this is just below the surface platforms. And as you can see right underneath that, there's a bit of an area where I think you could place some more platforms. I didn't place any platforms, but I'm going to go and have a closer look at it. Just to get an idea to see what you could do here as well. So, I mean, it wouldn't be a big base, but you could certainly build something around here. Maybe two platforms. Yeah, so there you go. That's the lowest point over there. We've got this platform, or this pair of platforms right up here. And then we have the top platforms. And god dang it, you are derpy little drake. Alright, let's go. No. Oh. You're gonna make me look like a fool. Come on. Behave yourself. No. He doesn't want to reverse anymore. <laughs> okay, right. Never mind. Okay, so I'm going to set myself up in position, and we are going to cycle through the times of day. Hopefully, we'll get some flames, and we'll see what the reach is for 
for the base that we could build. Obviously, I have God mode turned off, so that does mean I might catch on fire. Hopefully, infinite stats will save me. My Drake does have God mode on it for the purposes of this test. I don't really want it dying out. So we're going to set the time of day to morning. And there we have it. We have flames. Okay, so the foundations are quite far out. Nothing seems to be happening. Um, I'm not quite sure why. It's probably going to take some time for the game to calculate it, I guess it. Ah, there we go. Success. So, that is the region. As you can see, there are some foundations that are in the flames. So those behind me have all broken. That's interesting. So we've got the animation for the flames here, but as you can see, I'm not burning. Alright. That's quite interesting. Now, as it is hot, you might need to set up some air cons if you do build up here. Just because your water will drain pretty quick. So I'm just going to step into this empty area. And as you can see, I'm on fire. Ouch, ouch, ouchy. Um, so I'm probably going to remove that last platform. Because you can only build on a small portion of it. So, yeah, that's that's the reach. Or I might keep it. I might remove it. There we go, yeah. So, during the flames, basically, you can't build all the way to the top. But this is why you want to test out the area before you decide to build. Because if you're going to use expensive materials, you will lose out quite a lot of resources. So, let's have a look further down. See what's going on down there. As I suspected, this is quite a safe area. You can build a decent sized base, as you've seen. Let's go check out the other platforms. There we go. Safe here as well. And the final platform is down here. And this could be a massive base. So I could definitely see an Alpha Tribe building like this. Okay, I am back again. So I am back on the surface area. And I decided to play around with the platforms a bit and see how much I could extend and build a massive base if I wanted to. And as you can see, I have replicated what I did on the lowest level of this cave. So that means you can actually build a very decent size base. I haven't tested that area where I just put the platforms up just yet. However, I do reckon that it is a safe area to build upon, which is why I am showing you this. However, if you're going to build there, do test before you build. Okay, so in this video, I've shown you folks how to find the best area where you can build and how to test the area out before you start building. Now, hopefully this video will have helped out those people that want to build near or on the surface. Uh, this is just the second video out of a mini series that I am planning to do in the next video, which will take place here. I will be building structures on these platforms that I've shown you. However, I will do it with a slight twist and that is on one set of platforms. I will be using the vanilla stuff and just going wild and see what I can do with those. On another set of platforms, I will be using the S plus structure stuff and I'll see what I can do with those. So I'm going to try and mix and match in that department. And I will also be using the castle keeps and forts mod on another set of platforms. And I think finally at the bottom, I'll probably be mixing and matching and trying to build something epic just to see how large I can build. So in the third and final video, I will be showcasing those structures that I have built on these platforms to give you guys an idea of what you can build. And I have obviously considered all sorts of servers, including the official ones. However, if people do want me to make a mini building video for this mini series, I'd be more than happy to if enough people ask for it. 
that is it for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed this video and found the information in it useful if you have please don't forget to support me by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and why not check out some of my other videos who knows you might just enjoy them until next time stay safe folks